on Sailing Catalpa. We get all our parts to make our anchor winch like new. Thanks to the legend in Australia, Doug. Good morning, everybody. We've got some very exciting news today. We are leaving Delhi. So our anchor is all go. We have pretty much got a new anchor winch. All the major components anyway are all brand new. Uh, thanks to Doug and we are going to leave. We didn't think this day would come. We've been here for I think about six weeks and we are well and truly ready to leave Dilly. And um, so today I think we're heading out to Otoro Island which is only 20 nautical miles away and hopefully gonna be able to dive and, and see some cool stuff. So we've been kind of stuck here not doing much and we just really wanted to go and hang out over there and, and have a good time. We've got another boat that we met here and they're still over there and um, they've got a dive compressor. So hopefully we can dive and see what's over there underwater because we've heard some really cool things. So uh, we're excited to do that and then we're gonna head up on our way to Kupang. We will be over there this afternoon. But we're going to pull anchor now, which is very exciting. And we're just, it's going to be so much easier than it usually is. Except, because we've been here so long, there is going to be growth. We had this in Ambon and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, fingers, toes, everything crossed, that there is no barnacles on the chain. All right, so um, we think we've found a spot over at Atoro Island, opposite Dili. Um, we've just taken a quick snap of one potential anchorage, otherwise we're going to have to sail south. If we can't find anchor at a reasonable time, there's very limited anchorage on the island. There's actually no specific anchorages. If you see here, I've um, found one little cutout here on the western side of a toro so i'm hoping to get in here and anchor up we've got friends that are anchored in there so we're going to go see if there's room for us too we've got the dirty shirt on because it's been six weeks since we've pulled anchor first trial run with the anchor winch that's all fitted and hopefully working perfect um yeah time to scrape some crap off the chain It's not as bad as Ambon. Oh, not yet. Hopefully there's no barnacle. Just leave. Are you feeling a excited to leave here? Yeah. Sun's in my eyes. It's burns. Good news. There was lots of growth, but no barnacles. Uh, every time that we pull the anchor, Taj gets to flake it, which means he pulls all the or stacks all the chain neatly, he doesn't pull on anything and he keeps his hands very far away and it's very safe because he knows what he's doing. Yeah. But it's not the best job, is it bud? No. And sometimes it's stinky, isn't it? Yeah. That's why he's got a glove on because it's sometimes a bit yucky, so he uh, pulls all the chain in to make sure it's in the box, flakes it in there so it's nice and even. But that's what Taj is doing. So that appears to be the last of the growth. Thank goodness it was just growth and not barnacles. So now we can put the uh, anchor winch to the test. Easiest we've ever pulled up the anchor on Catalpa, so thanks again, Doug. Pulled anchor! We've pulled anchor at Dilly! Finally! Bye Dilly! What a day to send us off! Thanks for the good times, the bad times, the boring times, the hard times. Get a lot of emotions here. Come here Belle. We pulled out the sails and headed to a Turo Island. So we got some strawberries in uh, Dilly, which is very exciting. We haven't had strawberries for a while. And Bella learnt this trick about strawberries. I think the trick is if you want the Oh, there you go. So you have the strawberry here, you just pull the top out. That was a little one. So we're just coming into um, where our friends are in their yacht just here. And they suggested we come in and anchor near them, but we're not sure because there isn't much room in there. So we're just going to have to have a little bit of a, a look and see. So 
Ben's just come out to tell us where to anchor. So. We think we've anchored up good enough. We've got a stern line out the back and it's wrapped around a bit of a rock near the shore. And then at the front we've got about 80, maybe 70 metres of chain. Anchors in about 35 metres and it's right under a bit of a crevice. So Lee and I just dived on it. Lee's thinking about putting another stern line out the back on the right side. But um, this place is beautiful. How good is this? After being stuck in Dilly for six weeks, we were so grateful to be anchored up in paradise. And pretty much for the next 10 days, it looked like this. So many times I don't know which way Great visibility, colourful corals and a lot of mermaiding around. Surrounded by lazy folks Who just live their life no different from the day before It was the same old song So I turned off the radio I turned off the radio the whole afternoon when we arrived was spent underwater and it felt so good. Toro Island yesterday and uh, this morning we woke up and look outside. <gasps> the water it's so beautiful and I've scrubbed all the bottom of the but it was pretty bad. It was a lot of, uh, they're not barnacles, they're like this, what are those things that are on the bottom of the boat? Like a plant. <laughs> it's like this growth. But they were like the entire bottom of Catalpa was just covered so I've been in the water for the last two hours cleaning the bottom. Lee's glued up our tender again and uh, we're just excited to go diving. Our friends Ben and Astrid have a dive compressor on board so we were stoked to be able to get air from them. They had also been there for a few weeks so they knew the best dive spots. It's always fun diving with friends and these walls here are epic. <laughs> Headed ashore to walk to a nearby village. You can take him at home and see them. Oh yeah, please don't. Yeah, nice to have as a, This as was a the local well. That's one of the best ones. Right? Just the water that we put in our main tank. Yeah. Ah. But really it's uh, 300 I, PM, so. I'm across these cool fish. Can you see them swimming and then jumping up the wall to the next pond? That's something you don't see every day. So cool. This was a quiet homestay on the island. We were able to get some freshly baked red rolls, some pumpkins and some internet. Uh, thank you. Ben and Astrid are from the Netherlands and have been cruising for 14 years. They were full of stories and knowledge and we enjoyed hanging out with them. I've been stuck in Delhi for that long. It just feels, just feels so blessed to be out here. It's just like heaven. More diving, our days were spent mostly underwater. Eat, sleep, dive, repeat. We're 
about to go diving. We're rising, we're falling, we're making... We get our dive gear ready on Kit Helper, put it in the tender and put on our tank, fins and mask. Then we roll out. We're falling, we're making... Diving a wall of colourful coral and fish life, it is different every time. There is so much to see and we can spend ages looking in the same spot, seeing so many different things. Mum and Dad have a go at spearfishing. Dad hunts while Mum swims with the fishes. It's been a while since we blew up the SUP board and Mum and us thought it was a good idea to catch the little waves until Mum hits the reef. Ouch. Dr Bella is going to clean up my toe. It's fine but because we're in the tropics and because I just cut it on the reef, we make sure it's nice and clean so it doesn't get infected. Oh. We fished, we scurfed, supped at sunset. And Dad got lucky with some squid. <laughs> but catching squid is messy business. You know when you've done all right when Catalpa looks like this. After beautiful day. I can't find my way back to you till you make amends with the demons you've been through. And I can't regret leaving you alone until you find your way back home. Catalpa got plenty of love in and out of the water. Well, we're in paradise and work just follows this boat around everywhere. It's good, we've bumped into Ben. Yeah, I had one electrical problem. I had one of our charging lines melt due to a poor connection. And uh, Ben happens to have all the swaging tools and bits and pieces and monitors and all sorts of stuff on his boat. So we've just Spent half the day playing around putting uh, fuses in and been advised on a monitor so we can manage our amp hours and voltage a bit better. Um, sort of hard to show, but. Where's the thing that melted? Uh, it's. This is all the batteries. Yeah. I had. This was part of a unit that was installed here, and just due to the poor connections, all the wires had actually melted, built up resistance here, and right before the fuse um, yeah just a bit of a tidy up in here a few little bits and pieces it's good and yeah. well, Ben was very helpful thanks Ben was very helpful cheers while dad was busy with battery stuff we attempted surfing this up again the locals collecting shells at low tide off the reef for dinner and we had stuffed squid hoods Dad enjoying this beauty of a sunset while cracking a cold one. Good on you, Dad. It doesn't get much better than this. We've actually just spotted some waves um, just what? outside the window over on the reef where the kids and I had a bit of a supboard muck around the other day. There's a bit of wind and a lot of swell coming through and there's actual waves, so we're going to get our boards down and go for a bit of a surf. An attempt anyway. The waves were small but fun and guess what, there was no one out. You. 
don't let me drown don't let me drown don't let me i'm going to go surfing now What's in it? What's in the box? In the box. box. <gasps> Whoa. Lemon and pepper squid. Yum. So we're just sitting at um at our anchorage and I was just editing and Lee was up top. It's a really super low tide and um we just felt the keel rub on the reef. So Lee's just pulling in to make a chain. Um, hopefully we move away from the reef a little bit. But Oh, it's not very good, especially when it's at night time, you just, it's not very nice, you can't jump in the water and see how close we are, or really what's around us, so it's a bit more difficult. Hopefully we're okay and we have a good night, but it is a super low tide, so. So we're really, really close to the reef. We don't like it because it's night time, we can't see, we don't know what's going to happen. And it says we're in three metres, so hopefully we just don't move from here. Yeah, 3.5. There's one bommie hanging around us though, which I don't like, which is a little bit, a little bit taller than the ground, so... How are we looking now, Captain? Oh look, we're in nine metres of water, but... Swinging up onto the edge, which is around two and a half, three metres, which is just a bit too shallow for us. So we're going to have to adjust the stone line tomorrow um, to keep us in this point we're at now, which is about eight metres on the low, so ten on the high. Ten, eleven on the high. It's going to be a little bit of a sleepless night, just monitoring the lines. I've shortened up a little bit, making sure we don't pull anchor and so on. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we will leave you here with us fishing and living our best life and some advice from the ocean. Be sure of yourself, come out of your shell, expand your horizons, don't get tied down, let your worries drift away, think big and live deep. Next up on Sailing Catalpa, we have our last days at Atura Island and sail back into Indonesia where we check back into Kupang. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. See you next time. It all comes all thanks to you all. All thanks to y'all.